Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, my channel is Pound Star Oracle. If this is your first time viewing my channel, I welcome you and I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. And I thank y'all for helping me along my spiritual healing journey. And I love you and I hope I can help others out here because that's what I'm meant to do. And thank you to my loyal subscribers uh, for your likes, your subscriptions, and for your comments. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. And I love y'all and I thank you. And I thank you to that new video that I made, Spirit, with Divine Masculine. and I've had a lot of views on it. And I appreciate you, Spirit, because it's helping me. And I thank y'all. And that's how I'm getting more subscribers. And I love you and appreciate you. And I'm trying to get to a 1,000. So any little bit of help. Is going to help me, and I'm going to give away prizes over here, y'all. But I got to get to, you know, at least 500. When I get to 500, I'm going to give a deck away to you guys, okay? You'll have to give me your email, and then I'll send it to somebody, y'all. I will put all your names in a hat, and then I'll draw out the name, and then I'll send it to that person, okay? That's how I do it, and I love you, and I thank you for each and every one of y'all's help, and I hope I can help y'all in y'all's new beginning. So here we go. So today is for Libra, Libra Balance, and Leo, you let your light shine out to all. So, you know, you, Libra could be your North Node or a lot in your chart. And if it is, you're Divine Feminine. I got a lot of it in me, and that's how I know, okay? And, you know, Leo is my North Node, and that's why I'm doing this reading. Um, I'm, I'm shining. I'm letting my shine, my shine out onto the world, and I love y'all. And look, we're just a mediator for all these bullies. We're mentoring them because we're their advocate. Because we can we can teach you all to confront your inner issues. You know, and mediator is just somebody who has a, the gift of uh, mediating in your personal and your professional life. You know, you know, and I know that's what it says, you know. Look at the card. Uh, it says uh, you got a gift for negotiating fairness and strategy in personal and your professional life. And you respect both sides of an argument. And bullies, you know, um, uh, the light side is highlights your tendency to intimidate others, helps you confront the inner fears that bully you. I'm trying to help you all see what you're all scared of on the inside of your all self to go after your goals and dreams. And, you know, that's what will make others bully others. If, if, uh, if you've been bullied and you've had a lot of uh, verbal or physical abuse, you, you'll sound like a bully now I'm telling you the truth and and I've been bullied in my life and that's why I can mentor you all I've been bullied a lot and I can pass on all this wisdom and I can help you all people that's listening to me because uh you know I just like putting my compassion into action that's what advocate is okay and that's what you all like to do too people that's listening to me and do you see this yesterday I found yesterday I found mowing I did. I mowed yesterday. It was Wednesday, and I found my my rooster's big old feather. See it right there? And Spirit said, "You better stop and get that." And that's special. I left it for you. So that's what I did. I got my special feather, and I love it. And I thank you for it, Spirit. And I found it at 122. And you can look up 122 and uh, see what you all get out of it. I like to look on sun signs. Okay, three, 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 and I know how to manifest. Do you all? Good for you. But anyway, what's going on right now? People is learning from you because you let love show you how to learn from each other. Yeah. If you're with somebody and y'all been through a lot of ups and downs and challenges, y'all can learn from each other, you know. And, you know, you can still be in that relationship. I know a lot of people will say that's karmic and you need to leave and, you know, a lot of them is karmic, and you got to look deeply down inside your heart and soul to know if it is. You know, you can't let others tell you. It, I'm telling y'all the truth, okay, you guys? Excuse me if I had snot on my nose. I'm sorry, you guys. But you're, it says you 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 may be about to be surprised. Somebody's going to surprise you? Oh, wow. So you're getting a surprise from somebody that's learning from you You're because you're mentoring them. And... Let me pull out this message from my my personal deck that I made. And it's got a bunch of bullshit in it and truth. It's got a bunch of bullshit and truth and a lot of things that will teach you about what karmics and all that is. So, I'll let me read it to you what it said. So, right now, there is some lesbians that's watching you all, uh, Libras and Leos, or whoever's sitting here watching me right now. There's some lesbians that's watching your all's readings. Now, if you're all readers, they're watching your readers. 
and they want you to want women instead of men. They're sending that energy to you, and and there's some man that says, "Hey, good look and what you got cooked, and how's about cooking something up with me?" And but what I got from that is this lesbian wants to cook up something with you. But also what it says is your boss. It says your boss wants to build a life with you. He's got intense love for you, and he might want to marry you. Um, and your boss could be this bald guy. If y'all know a bald guy, go ahead and hit a little like and subscribe and share because it'll help me and you all both. Because you can always come back here and get a message from me because I'm not going nowhere. I'm going to sit right here on my ass that Spirit told me to do to help people in society. And that's what I do. And, and I, this boss, you all have a strong bond between it, each other and people sees it. So they will send people to mess with it. But they don't realize that God will always give you what was meant for you. They don't realize that if that boss was meant for you, you're going to get it. Don't they understand? I mean, that's just, that's how, that's how the world, that's how a uh, universe works. And somebody needs to stop playing, uh, being in this victim mentality mode and learn that this situation didn't happen to you, but for you. So, so don't be stuck in the past. That's what it's saying. Learn that that situation happened for you to grow from, to grow from it. Okay. So maybe you grow from this, uh, grow away from this boss and and this special connection that you have because they they never uh, express their feelings to you and, and you had a lot of faith and you faith can move mountains and you're balanced and ready to love. You know this is Sagittarius energy. Maybe this boss was a Sagittarius and they was always in a victim mentality mode. But I, I just believe that it meant your faith can move mountains in 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 your. Uh, marriage <laughs> wedding bounds and you know and you need to have trust in your relationships for them to flourish both partners need to be trustworthy the trust involves fidelity and honesty and when you trust each other you'll grow stronger and be as one so you need to trust this boss that has feelings for you somebody that's listening to me out here because they they like you but you, they had to heal their insides from their old girlfriends uh and and that's why y'all hadn't come together yet or, I mean, if you're married to this person, if you're married to someone, the, re the reason y'all always fight is because they don't trust you and, and they packed all this shit from their old girlfriends. And now uh, they're trying to persuade you into doing something that you know better to do. Now, you're going to have to really remember what I'm telling you. Somebody's trying to persuade you into doing something that you know better and they might have been trying to get you to be lesbian. And uh, somebody's on their way to hospital because one of their organs is starting to shut down from all the drug use and the past drugs and drink and see the pill bottle and Coors Light. So, so whoever this person is to you all, it might be someone that you're connected to in your family, okay? Uh, you know, so whoever in your family that is a karmic masculine to you all, this is the man that you're about learning lessons. It's about learning lessons. Learn. Remember, learn over here. Learn. Deeply surprised. Learn. You're supposed to learn that this is a karmic that's in your family. And all this shit's linked back to childhood. And all their drug use and drinking links back to when you all was young. And if you've been with this person a long time, this karmic mask on, not for years and years in a marriage. Their damn organs is shutting down because they did a lot of dope. And now they're wanting to persuade you to do some bullshit, maybe with their old girlfriend. And they ain't got no fucking trust. This person don't, so don't fall for it. They want to be strong with you, but but they know that you're balanced. And you might be trying to move away because you learned that they had you in this victim mentality mode. And, and, and now they see that you and this boss has a strong bond between us, each other. And they're going to say, hey, good looking what you got cooking up. You want to cook something up with me now? Uh-oh. So now remember what I tell you guys. And look here. And look, Leo. Look what's right on top. 11-11. Every time for you. Twin flame. You have a twin flame. I don't give a damn what anybody says. I always pay attention. Every Leo reading I get. You better pay attention. And my Lord notice, Leo. So now I know. I know for a damn fact it's true, you all. And you might as well go ahead and believe it. Because I don't point that like that. It always falls out. Everything I get fell out. And look what fell out. Oh, you're a mystic healer, Libra, and Leo's, and you your healing energy flows through your people that's here watching me, and, and uh, maybe you got owls that come around your house like I do, and, and you know, you're just a healer for all, and 
you're somebody that stays focused, you know, you hold the course. You stay focused through all this bull crap. Let me go this way, the way it pulled out. Looks like I need to. Yeah, you stay focused and and you you you're slaying all them dragons. You're like, come on, buddy, you wanna mess with me? You got your damn uh, Aquarius Libra Gemini sword out and you said you mess with me, I'll mess with you. I used to take care of a woman named Wilma and this reader I watched yesterday, uh uh what's the chatter La Rasha when I watched when I watched her treasure box, I don't know if it was on Goddess Queen twenty three, it was on one of her channels that she did yesterday and it, she was talking about grandma you talked about grandma's name and stuff and she was pulling out my energy because i did i did say my grandma's name and i you know maybe i shouldn't have here on tv but i'm telling you right now it was funny because uh it in her names it pulled out wilma and i used to take care of this woman that didn't have a leg y'all and her name was wilma and she called herself fat granny she, and I heard her say when at La Rocha did that reading yesterday, I heard her say, and when she pulled out Wilma, I heard old Wilma say, now you better be listening to Fat Granny. So I like that reading, La Rocha. It was good. 11-11. Ooh, we're going to receive some John Abundance. Ah, make a wish, make a wish. So we made a wish that we're going to slay all them dragons. We're slaying them, and justice is coming. Look, justice is coming. Look, and I got a damn baseball bat and a sword here at my house. I got swords, baseball bats. I got whatever I need. If these enemies wants to mess with me, I'll hit them. I will. I'm not lying to y'all. I love all my subscribers. I'm not talking to you all. I'm talking about people who's actually wronged me. If they to try to come up and try to hurt me, and I would expect the same from you all. You're dumb if you don't. Because you can't just let people run all over you. Somebody comes at you with a fucking sword. <laughs> Or a baseball bat, you're dumb if you don't have some protection. Now, I'm for protection. I'm not one of these people that says, oh, guns. Oh, they're scary. No, they, they're only scary the person that's using them. You know, if you got a little common sense and, and you don't bother anybody, but somebody comes to bother you and tries to come in and break in my house, I will fucking shoot you. I would, wouldn't you all? Ain't that common sense? 12 12, it's common sense. But you're slaying all them dragons and justice is coming. Justice is coming because. Um, this person was in denial and there was projecting all their shame. This projecting all it onto you, this current mask one, because they know that they had fucked around on you and they lied. They lied to you. And look, the Talcetians, you're somebody that's resilient, bold, and sassy. This is fire energy. See all the orange and red? So that's a fire sign, uh, these Talcetians. And, and y'all better trust me. I don't know for a fact, but I do <laughs> by paying attention to how the card's drawn. That's what I know. So it's a fire sign. You know, and Leo pulled out up here with Libra Balance. So, you know, this is air and fire, and I got a lot of that in my chart. So, you, you, you know, you, you're, whoever this is that's in a fire, uh, that they got, they're in a fiery energy, passionate action. They want to just fuck, is what it means. See, lovers, erotica, sensuality, the nagas. See, they just, this person was uh, projecting shame and. And being sassy because they just wanted to be in a love relationship with you. That's what it means, okay? Till forever. They just liked your fucking, excuse me, but that's what it said. I mean, I love my spirit team for helping me to be able to help all y'all because I, I am true. And I and I know I'm me meant to do this because it always pulls out something good for me. And I'm an Aquarius. And... You know, this is about the visionary. You're awake, and, and you, with an intuitive perspective, I see the bigger picture. So you see the bigger picture. And then we, here we have Alcyone, and this is Athusia, sun goddess. Maybe you're a sun goddess. Somebody seeing you as a sun goddess, Leos. And it, and it says, I open my senses to feel delicious pleasure and passion. So you're getting passion and energy to go towards who you want to. It might be that boss. Ooh. I'll be that boss. Oh, wow. We woo woo we. I don't know, but you got to tell me. And let me do this first before I do these. And I'm probably just going to read this, and that's all for y'all. So it won't be so long, you guys. So these are the houses and the planets, and, and I like these cards because it helps you understand a lot of things more. And about birth charts. But, uh, so you might be connected Libra and Leos to a Virgo and a Gem or a Gemini, and uh, or your all's Mercury might be in Virgo or Gemini, and and if it is, you're someone who's very intellectual and inquisitive and observant. 
very, very expressive and logical and educational. So, you know, you're someone that can communicate. My Mercury is in Aquarius, and I'm the I know sign. So, yeah, I was meant to uh, pass on knowledge. I'm very clever. So, this person that is uh, in denial and projecting their shame, uh, they're clever and they're analyzing all your ideas at the moment. They're, and they're going to quiz you. They're going to give you a quiz now. Are you listening? Yeah, and look, if you got an opposition aspect in your chart, that'll be 180 degrees. you got to look in your birth chart at Astro Cafe. Type in your time of birth and, and uh, your full name and all that. And, and when you get to that birth chart, you better study it. And this is the relationship between several planets and the degrees apart from each other. But when this occurs, you're going to have confrontation. So I think you you you... you you have a challenge and always are in, in conflict with a Virgo. That's what I think, a, or a Gemini in your chart, and you better listen to what I'm telling you. And, and all this does is it heightens the awareness of challenges that you need to con to conquer. You need to conquer these challenges that when you see that opposition, and it looks like that little symbol right there, 180. <laughs> But uh, this, the polarity of this aspect creates adversities. But growth can be achieved by overcoming these challenges. The rewards for your efforts can be gratifying and fulfilling. So you might be in separation at the moment. And, but I think that what it's saying is in your somebody's birth chart that's watching me. Excuse <coughs> me. Excuse me, y'all. Woo! <coughs> oh, wow. <coughs> it's true, whatever I'm going to tell y'all. I can't stop sneezing. Now, listen. Excuse me. <coughs> then we got your, uh, this, we got your north node and your south node. And your north node is about choices and future. And your south node is about karma and past, okay? So I think that you're in your north node, and it is making this other person be in rage, conflict. They they just want to, they don't want you to progress. They don't want you to. That's why opposition is showing up. And your Mercury, between your Mercury and your north node or south node, you got an opposition. Are you listening? And, and you could have an opposition with your eighth house and your Mercury and your north node and... Uh, so pay attention in your eighth house is your house of destiny and the eighth house represents the mysteries of spiritual and physical transformation the characteristics of this house signify inheritances legacies deaths and rebirths in your life this house can be mystical and amplifies psychic and metaphysical awareness okay so uh so you're uh someone who is spiritual and you went through a rebirth and a transformation or you might have had to go it might be telling you the reason that always conflict keeps happening is because you ain't put a death to a, to a marriage or something. But it also can be saying that you're getting ready to receive an inheritance. Ooh, an inheritance. Wow. Good for you all. You know, I mean, if you've been good and uh, your parents has left you something or somebody that cares for you deeply, well, good. That's what they wanted. You know what I mean? And that's the truth. What I said, truth sword. Look how many swords. One, two, three. Come out. And a baseball bat. <laughs> Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. With a baseball bat. With a baseball bat. That's on Family Guy. It's Stewie. <laughs> I made a Stewie meatloaf one time. I took a picture of it. I made it for my kids. I made them a Stewie meatloaf. It was cool. That's the truth. And this is about your power and you taking the sovereignty over your own choices and actions and you telling your damn truth and standing up and take action and go towards this man that you want to. Or woman, you need to surrender. Surrender it. Surrender it all to the divine. Surrender it. Get it out of your mind. And you're going to have a triumph because when you receive all these pure thoughts because you're courageous. Are you listening? So don't let it bother you. So you're courageously surrendering to the moment and you're going, you went through a total transformation. Look, there's that uh, Scorpio energy come out. You're, you know, you, we, you had to understand what was illusion and, you know, illusion in real life. You know, this, this is a transformation. You, you got to cross through those boundaries with courage now and take action. 
Divine feminine. Divine feminine. Feminine power. Ingrain. You might have a dog around you at the moment, and that might be your spirit guide helping you, you know, and you need to accept that you're a beautiful mother and divine feminine that can, can get through any challenge and any fucking illusion. And uh, maybe the illusion was that you wouldn't triumph and become a person of power, but it's saying, hey, they didn't know what the fuck they was talking about because this is in your destiny. It's in your destiny, but somebody needs to look at what's in their eighth house and, and your north node. So you, whoever's watching me, you could have a north node or south node that is in Scorpio or in Virgo or Gemini, and you're needing to look where all position is because... You're, you you need to learn how to uh, get over that challenge, okay? Somebody needs to listen to me and study your birth chart today, what I just told you. And this is the last thing I got for you guys. And this is about your uh, you uh, healing these inner child wounds. And this comes out like every other day that I do these readings. Uh, and I know I'm meant to help you all and that I am a mystical healer and I'm staying focused. Nobody can take me out of my focus because sun goddess is helping me. I might be a sun goddess. Ooh. Maybe my name is Athena, Athena or Athena. I don't know, y'all. I'm still figuring out who my name is, who I'm meant to be. But I think I know uh, some people wouldn't like what I said. But I, I think that that's what's helping me right now. Raw power. You, this is about the magic that's on the inside of all of us, and you staying grounded in the eternal right now. You're very steadfast in the things that you do, and you're uplifting in your community, and you're and you're a, you're on an ascent right now. And you thought that this was insurmountable, but you're getting through it because you had to go through all that isolation, you know, and uh, all that all those daunting challenges. You had to get over them and. And then here, look, the sword. How many swords? And I flipped all these out. I love spirit, how spirit loves me, and it shows you that I'm true over here. That's why all this shit keeps flipping out. It just flips out because sword, 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 you're slaying them all. That's why justice is here. And I believe you might have to move. Yeah, I believe you're going to have to move. And this is about cutting through to what it, what's essential at the moment. You're saying, hey, you're either with me or you're not with me. Are, are you wanting to be grounded with me in the eternal, or do you want to go towards and you want to go play with some other woman? Well, if you want to go play with some other woman or man, then get the fuck out. That's what you're saying. You're like, you're about burnt out from all this shit, you know? You're burnt out, and you're trying to help these people that's burnt out from all these addictions, and they're fucking selfish. And that's who you're slaying. You're slaying all these people. And uh, you're helping them to slay their insides. Slay that shit on the inside. Don't let that... Uh, rule your life especially if you got kids i don't agree with you all and this is about your dreams i don't have no kids at my house right now so if i wanted to smoke me a little joint in the afternoon that's up to me and that's my business there's no kids around me if they was i wouldn't do that do you understand i hate how people think that uh, i i got common sense i always have and my kids they work every day and they get drug tested they got a good fucking job. So don't think that I didn't teach my kids the right way because I did. I did. I did. And I told them all the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I did. And I did. And I'm glad I did. Because I taught them how the real world fucking is. Oh, and in here, this is about your, your very potent, your imagination is. And maybe you got script. Maybe you got coins uh, that script. Uh, I got some coal mining script. And back in the old days, they would pay these coal miners with script. And all that means is they would put them in these company houses and then they'd have to go use their coal script at the company stores and they never had no fucking money. So all they did is work for the fucking, all they did is work for food. And if y'all think I got a lot of money over here, you're crazy. I don't, I don't, I don't have money to do shit anymore. And that's fine with me because I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I don't care if I make any money or not from this. But I know one day I will from YouTube, and that's why I need to get to a thousand subscribers, y'all. And that's why I need your all's help, and I love you, and I appreciate you. And I just want to tell y'all that your visions can come true. You just need to believe in it. So you're noticing, you're trusting in all these synchronicities. And this is about your sensual expressiveness. And, and you're merging uh, and inviting this, this uh, chemistry that you have with someone else. And... They're wanting to touch and make sex with you. Ooh, and you know who it is? It was your twin flame. It already said it. And they're wanting to surprise you, but they want you to get away from this person that you need to. And like I said, look in your birth chart. Wherever uh, you got a challenge, 
that's why all this conflict keeps happening. You're going to have to look at that 180 degrees uh, challenge of yours and get over it. All right. And I love y'all because this is about your destiny. And I appreciate you guys. And I love you so very much. And I can't wait to tell you another message. I'm going to clear us off and do a new one. Peace. Thank you guys for all your help.